President Trump in 2016, 2017 did wink and nod at the alt-right. Okay, again, I have said this a thousand times. I wrote editorials about it. I was extraordinarily vocal about it. From his unwillingness to condemn David Duke on CNN, from his unwillingness to condemn David Duke on CNN. What do you see as the biggest problem with the Reform Party right now? Well, you've got David Duke just joined. A bigot, a racist, a problem. I mean, this is not exactly the people you want in your party. How do you feel about the David Duke quasi-endorsement? I don't know the answer to the first. Who knows why? But I don't need his endorsement. I certainly wouldn't want his endorsement. I don't need anybody's endorsement. Would you, I'm not would looking you for... repudiate David Duke? Sure. I would do that if it made you feel better. I would certainly repudiate. I don't know anything about him. How do you feel about the recent endorsement from David Duke? I didn't even know he endorsed me. David Duke endorsed me? Okay. All right, I disavow, okay? Will you unequivocally condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or that of other white supremacists in this election? Well, just so you understand, I don't know anything about David Duke, okay? I don't know anything about what you're even talking about with uh, white supremacy or white supremacists. Three times in this interview, I don't know who D David Duke is, and you refuse to disavow or distance yourself from him. Now, a lot of people are scratching their heads over that because, number one, you disavow David Duke two days prior. I disavow, okay? Why not disavow David Duke, disavow the KKK? What's going on? Uh, well, I know who he is, but I never met David Duke. And the question was asked about David Duke and various groups. And I don't know who the groups are. I David Duke and the Ku Klux Klan here. And you said, honestly, I well, don't know let, David let Duke. You, I'm sitting in a house in Florida with a very bad earpiece that they gave me. And you could hardly hear what he was saying. But what I heard was various groups and I don't mind disavowing anybody, and I disavowed David Duke, and I disavowed him the day before at a major news conference. I said, I disavow. And I disavowed then, I disavowed today on ABC with George Stephanopoulos. I disavowed again. I mean, how many times are you supposed to disavow? But I disavow, and hopefully it's the final time I have to do it. How many times do I have to reject? I've reject David Duke, rejected David Duke. Uh, I've rejected the uh, KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. From the time I'm five years old, I rejected them. From his unwillingness to condemn David Duke on CNN. David Duke is saying to his supporters and followers, vote for Donald Trump. White supremacists are saying, vote. do you want those votes? No, I don't want them, and I don't want him to say it. I can't help if he says it. What do you How think many of white supremacists, by the way? I don't like any group of hate. Hate groups are not for me. Trump's statements in the aftermath of Charlottesville provided aid and comfort to white supremacists. I don't see any way around that. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. Trump's statements in the aftermath of Charlottesville provided aid and comfort to white supremacists. He didn't say they were good Nazis and... Uh, he and said there were good people on both sides yes, on the Friday night. You take a look the night before, many of those people were there to protest the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. So I noticed that Stonewall Jackson's coming down. I wonder, is it George Washington next week? And is it Thomas Jefferson the week after? You had a group on one side that was bad, and you had a group on the other side that was also very violent. Do you think he was saying that there were good Nazis? Do you believe he believes I think he was there saying were there were good, good people who were marching, uh, not good Nazis. I think what he was saying is that there were good uh, no, people who were here, marching okay, with the Nazis. So here's my, here's my to the statue, which proof I, that he didn't say that. Okay. Because he doesn't believe there's good Antifa. You had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. And I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue. I think what he was saying is that there were good people who were marching okay, with the Nazis. So, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists because they should be condemned totally. Now, in the other group also, you had some fine people, but you also had troublemakers, and you see them come with the, with the black outfits and with the helmets and with the baseball bats. I'm happy to argue, Charlottesville. Okay. We can go back through the text and we'll bring out our Talmuds okay. and we can actually look look <laughs> through the legislative history of what he said. I think there's blame on both sides and I have no doubt about it and you don't have any doubt about it either. If you look, they were people protesting very quietly the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. I'm sure in that group there were some bad ones. The following day it looked like they had some rough, bad people, neo-Nazis, uh, white nationalists, whatever you want to call them. I'm happy to argue, Charlottesville. Okay. We can go back through the text and we'll bring out our Talmuds okay. and we can actually look, look through the legislative history of what he said. I've condemned 
neo-Nazis. I've condemned many different groups, but not all of those people were neo-Nazis, believe me. Not all of those people were white supremacists by any stretch. And you know it if you were honest reporters, which in many cases you're not. The president tweets out in response to the media stuff like this. There is great anger in our country caused in part by inaccurate and even fraudulent reporting of the news. The fake news media, the true enemy of the people, the fake news media, the true enemy of the people must stop the open and obvious hostility and report the news accurately and fairly. That will do much to put out the flame. I agree with President Trump that the media are doing a terrible job and they are lying about him and lying about the situation. But if he doesn't stop with this enemy of the people crap, he undermines everything that he is saying. The press are not the enemy of the people. The press are not the enemy of the people. The fake news media, the true enemy of the people. The press are not the enemy of the people. To call the press the enemy of the people, I don't like, I never have liked. To call the press the enemy of the people. They dropped off the word fake. And all of a sudden, the story became the media is the enemy. They take the word fake out. The press are not the enemy of the people. The dishonest media did not explain that I called the fake news the enemy of the people, the fake news. To call the press the enemy of the people, I don't like, I never have liked. When I say the enemy of the people, I'm talking about the fake news, and you know it better than anybody.